What is up, people? So, yesterday we played through a little game called Everybody's Gone to Rapture. And kind of hoping Gone Home is better. <laughs> uh, Gone Home, this game I've actually been wanting to try for a little while. A couple of my friends have played through it, said it was a good game. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I was the first one to play through. Everybody's gone to Rapture, and have now told them what I thought about it after uh, yesterday. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Probably won't do a ton of commentary for it. If you watch my uh, playthrough yesterday, I don't like to do a lot of commentary in uh, certain games. If I'm playing Battlefield or something, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll throw some commentary out. But for games like this, I don't like to talk a lot over what's happening. So <clears throat> let's get right into it and uh, see how this goes, right? Cannot be worse than yesterday. <laughs> Cannot be. I have high hopes. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. A little bit better. I was gonna put a hidey key somewhere. Boom. Nailed it. Dear Katie, <clears throat> so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. electricity it's 
Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it's getting a bit But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from here. Let's see if you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Jeez. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. They just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Dang, one thousand dollars. That's crazy. Wasn't JFK. Dun, dun, dun. Okay.
Jeez, Dad. Give me a boot. Loud noises, huh? Feeling lonely. Aww. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Ain't, ain't a word, and that's not how you spell liar. Get your act together, people. God. 
Anything else I can pick up and throw? He got canned. Ah, there we go. Should have played this on the PC. It's been easier to control. So I'm in a book. Oh, snap. 
so you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Got a crush on my back. Why do we keep so many things in this house locked? Jeez. I understand privacy, but come on. Making things difficult for everybody. Glasses, huh? It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you too. 
that crap out of here. Ow. Devil music. Devil music. So funny. So funny. Goodfellas is a good movie. open. Seeker's probably in there too. Like the allergy medicine.
Somebody tried to dye their hair wrong. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. It's a big old bed. Gideon members. Ooh, also their followers of Metal Gear. Nice. I swear. It's like somebody already raided the clothes. 